From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, and welcome to another Ropecast. Hello, Peter. Hello, Roger. How are you doing? Fine. Now, I think you wanted to talk again about rhyming slang. Yes, I do. It was so much fun last time talking about that, and I think I got it, but I think we would need to redefine this for our listeners. Yes. So I will have a go at defining rhyming slang. Rhyming slang is a kind of slang where instead of using the correct word for the sentence, you use a word that rhymes with it, or rather an expression that rhymes with it. Normally an expression, yes. Right. So instead of saying, would you believe it? You say, would you adamant eve it? That's it. Okay, okay, I think I got it. And to make things worse with rhyming <laughs> slang, very often, instead of using the whole expression that rhymes with the original word, you leave out the part of the expression that actually rhymes. Yes. Which makes it more complicated still. So another thing that I found is, instead of saying, he's telling lies, you'd say, He's telling porkies. Yes. Now, porkies does not rhyme with lies. But pork pies does. So, that's why you can say he's telling porkies. That's it. Ah, uh, okay. I think I got it. Yeah. Now, one reason why it is complicated for me is probably that I speak American English. Yeah. And I believe Americans don't use this rhyming slang a whole lot. It, the, the examples in U.S. English are very rare. It's mostly, if people want to look this up for themselves, mm -hmm. then they should check Cockney rhyming slang. Now, Cockney is a British dialect, right? Yeah, it's um, Cockney in the strict sense of the word is someone who was born within the sound of Bow Bells, the bells of Bow Church in East London. So it's an East that's, London form of English. That's a rather, well... It's a working class kind a working of area, you can say. Class. So it's, it's lower income. Yes, mm -hmm. very much so. And actually, um, lots of examples illustrate very well that this comes from uh, working people in factories, in offices. Why is that? Well, some of them are kind of taboo examples. Taboo? <laughs> Which may also explain why the rhyme word is left out sometimes. Okay. Lots of people, for example, would use the word raspberry uh, for the kind of noise you can make with your lips if you expel the air, sort of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they call that a raspberry without realizing this comes from rhyming slang, raspberry mm -hmm. tart. Which rhymes with fart. <laughs> <laughs> and there are really taboo examples if people want oh, to come check on, for it's, themselves. It's, we're here alone in the studio. You can tell me one or two. Well, an Aylesbury. Um, Aylesbury. Which is short Aylesbury. for Aylesbury duck. So that would be... Uh, the F word. Engaging <laughs> in sexual intercourse, meaning you somebody. Let's not get beeped here. <laughs> And I think another interesting thing is this this is an ongoing process. Anybody can join in this game. What do you mean by anybody can join? Well, just take somebody who's in the news right now. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm British, so I think of our Prime Minister, Gordon Brown. Okay. You can think, well, what rhymes with Brown? And, and people would probably, once he's in the news, he'd make things up like that. Yeah. Let's try and do one for Gordon Brown. Yeah, okay. What, what rhymes People with... who don't exactly admire him, who uh, think uh, he can't be taken seriously. Uh, I, got, I got one. I got one. Gordon Brown rhymes with clown, which is not <laughs> very respectful. <laughs> right. Okay, Gordon, sorry, but th we're just using you as an example. Now, Gordon Brown, so wait, so, how would it work? Um, well, you're a real Gordon. Gordon. You could say you're a real Gordon Brown, yeah. which would be a, that makes take, it too obvious. Okay, so you could say, you're a real Gordon, yeah. and everybody would know I'm saying you're a real clown. Right. Hey, Peter, why don't we challenge our listeners here? Let's take another name from the news and see what they can do with it. That's a good idea. Um, wait, wait, wait. Well, I have got a great idea. We could take Barack Obama, well, that's, the, the that, new president. That's, that's a tricky one. That's why I would like to ask our listeners to come up with some rhyming slang. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so here's the thing. Dear listeners, c go to our website at www.ropecast.de 
and post a comment in our blog. And what we want from you is we want you to come up with a piece of rhyming slang on the basis of the new American president's name, Barack Obama, just like the one we did with Gordon Brown just now. And of course, it does not have to be disrespectful. Maybe it shouldn't even be disrespectful, but you can come up with anything that comes to your minds. I think we're done for today, right, Roger? Yes, that's it for today. Bye, Peter. Bye-bye, and bye, dear listeners. See you next week. You know what, Roger? English can be a really funny language sometimes. Ah, Peter, your funny is my strange. Funny you say that. <laughs>